girl shit. Good morning, everyone. What's up and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I really wanted to address why I chose Montreal as my province in the first place. Because since my last video, a lot has been asking me on why I chose this out of all the provinces of Canada. Like there are a lot of beautiful provinces in North America, Saskatchewan, Toronto, Vancouver, a lot. But why did I choose Montreal in the first place? Today's video, I will be addressing the pros and the cons in the eyes of a student. A student who is looking for more affordable places to live in for the next one, two, three, four, five years. When you're choosing to move out or moving abroad per se, you really have to be careful, do your research on which province you want to stay in for the next one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years or more. So one of the biggest reasons why I'm choosing Montreal over any other provinces in Canada is because it's relatively more affordable than other provinces. Like for example, in a public Sigep, Sigep, Sigep. In the public college that I'm taking, um, my tuition is just around 600,000 pesos. More or less. No, a little bit more, if I'm not mistaken. But then if you compare that to like colleges in Toronto, let's say, um, the tuition is around a million or more than a million. So that's a big gap because that extra 400k, you could use that for your accommodation. And speaking of relatively more affordable, it's not just the tuition or the education that's cheaper, but also the accommodation. I do not have the exact digits. I probably should have prepared for this video. The condos and apartments accommodation in Toronto is much higher, much higher than when you're trying to move to Montreal. That's just an example, okay? I mean, if you are moving to Canada and you have family and then they have a house already, it's perfect for you to just move in with them wherever um, province they may be because you already have the accommodation. So that's checked off your list. But then if you're just a single student then it's a much smarter decision to just go for a province that is more affordable in terms of education and also accommodation the second reason why i'm choosing montreal is because it is really diverse in that province it's basically like a student hub there are a lot of students who go to montreal just to study just because the tuition or the education there is cheaper i need to stop talking with my hands Basically, you can find students from all races. They all go to Montreal to study. Montreal also has a lot of really renowned universities such as Concordia, McGill, and even the public Sigeps. Sigeps? Sigeps. Public colleges. So you would really feel at home because there are a lot of Filipinos, a lot of Indians, a lot of Mexicans, and a lot of other races and culture just joining forces in Montreal. So feel at home. And another thing is that I like to look at the aesthetics and I like the French culture. And I'm sure that some of you guys are too. Montreal is a big colony of France. They have similar architecture to France, even food. The city is really just known for its vibrant culture, vibrant art scene, and rich history. For this one, I don't really know how to describe it. I just imagine that you're on Pinterest and you type France or you type like good European architecture. It's kind of like that in Montreal. It's really aesthetic, which I really appreciate because I like to take pictures and videos of everything. And if you don't follow me on TikTok or IG yet, please do so and I would really appreciate it. To add to that, I am also a very foodie person. Well, erase the very because I just like eating food. Once you start looking at Montreal food on TikTok, I was like, I fell into that hole very deep. I was like, yes, I want it. It's also one of the factors. I know it's silly, but then is it really? Is it really silly to just think about food and why you want to go to a certain country because of food? It's not silly, come on. I think I've said all of the pros. To sum it up, it's all about having a relatively cheaper tuition and accommodation, cost of living. It also has a diverse student culture. Like for me, I wouldn't feel left out because I'm the only international student in Montreal. Like there are a lot talaga. Like it's literally people go there to study. So in some sense, that just makes me feel more comfortable. The third one is the architecture and also the lifestyle that it provides. It has very rich culture. And then the fourth is of course the food. Hello. Is that even a question? Living in Montreal kind of forces you to kind of be bilingual. As I said, it is a big colony of France, which means that people there do speak French a lot. 
So that's gonna be a problem, right? So Montreal is a bilingual city where French and English are mostly spoken. So this means that I'll be able to improve my linguistic abilities and try to expand to other languages as well. And that's mainly French because you would need it to survive in Montreal. Based from what I'm hearing or what I'm researching, in order to get a really nice job there, you would need to be bilingual and learn both English and French. But that is not a big of a problem because you can always learn it. The Quebec government actually pays people to take French classes. The ballpark is like $600 for a full-time student learning francization. Another big problem, the province has a very big weather condition. And by that, I mean like harsh winters and stuff. I don't know, mga, like 7 or I don't know, 10 inches of snow outside your doorstep outside like everywhere every time that it's like winter time that's what you're gonna be facing if you actually choose montreal for example toronto is a little bit warmer than montreal not like philippines or like sunny warm it's just not like negative degrees like down if you know what i mean montreal is really known for its harsh winters and that's kind of scary right so it can be kind of challenging to people like me who are used to the warm climates or warm weathers here in the southeast asia I'm willing to brave the cold, harsh winters of Montreal just so I can live there. And also, you know, the fix could be nice. <laughs> what am I saying? Of course, I will be dead. I'm gonna die. Anyway, from the eyes of a student, that's all I can think about. Um, Once you get like PGWP, you get more serious into living in Montreal, you're probably gonna consider the high taxes as well. But then I don't know much of the particulars in that area. They have high taxes there. But but then it kind of shows because the government really takes care of you. Um, like for example, like I, I told you, francization is a thing. So if you actually want to study French part-time or full-time, the government pays you to study French. So in conclusion, I have carefully outweighed the pros and cons of moving to Montreal. It sounds just about right to me. I mean, there is always a downside and an upside to everything. But then you just really have to think if this is what you want. And for me, I think that it is what I want. And I'm also excited for this chapter of your life if ever you're considering Montreal. Just remember that there are pros and cons in each provinces and you just have to do your research about it. Anyways, I hope this video kind of helped you out in a way. Please don't forget to like and subscribe this video so that it helps me in some way. If you do like the content that I put out, please do consider subscribing. It really would help a lot. See you guys in my next video.